I just wanted you to watch this video before starting so you know exactly what to do. There's no confusion about how to use this training program. These workouts just take about 15 minutes per day. If you wanna become a better player, there's really no excuse. The reason I made it so short is because I wanted to create a training program for players who already have busy schedules, they already have lots of club commitments, they don't have much time, they can still fit it in, and they can find a way to get better at home, get an advantage over their teammates, over their opponents, by training at home, by only doing 15 minutes per day. One of the first things you'll see when you come on this page is the option to download the tracker. So I would really recommend that you download it. What you're going to do is you're going to go into Google Sheets. It's a free application. It should probably already be installed on your browser. If it's not, you can download it for free. So that file has gone to your downloads. You're just going to come into here and upload the file that you just downloaded. Then you will have this tracker. This is just a simple little tracker, but marking down that you completed the workout every single day will give you more motivation and keep you moving forward. It'll keep you on track. You won't be confused. You won't be wondering what day you're on. And the reason I really wanted to create this is so you can have this, yes, on your desktop, but you can also have this on your phone. So just download the Google Sheets application on your phone and then you'll be able to access this. So as soon as you're done your workout, mark that you completed it and then you'll know exactly where you're at. Things that get tracked improve. If we don't track it, we're not as likely to do it. There are three phases to this program. Phase number one, beginner routine. Phase number two, intermediate routine. And phase number three, the advanced routine. Now, even if you consider yourself an advanced player, I want you to start on phase number one. Complete the beginner routine for three cycles before moving to the next level. So there are seven days of training. You wanna complete that cycle three times. So three times seven days. Then you'll move to phase number two, intermediate routine. Complete the intermediate routine for three cycles before moving to the next level. And phase number three, complete the advanced routine for three cycles before completing the program. When you click this button to access each of the phases, you will see that there are seven different workouts. So each day focuses on a different area of your development. The day of the week that you start this routine does not matter. All that matters is that you complete the seven days. Now there may be days that you miss. There may be days where you have games. There may be days where your body needs a break. Let's say for one of those reasons you had to miss doing day number five. Don't start the next day on day number six and skip five. Whatever day you missed, the next day you start training again, just start on that day. So we are doing cycles of seven days. That doesn't mean seven days of the week. That means you have to complete all seven days for it to be one cycle. When you go into each of the specific days, you will see that there is a training tutorial and a training routine. I would recommend that you watch the tutorial the very first time that you're about to do the routine. Watching this tutorial will help you improve faster. It will give you a better understanding of how to do the exercises and how to make more out of these training sessions. When you do the training routine, you're just going to click play and you're going to follow along in real time. There are times for work and there are times for rest. Do your best to stay with the timing of the routine. If you find that it's too challenging, I would encourage you to just slow down your pace rather than stopping altogether. If you really have to, add more time in the rest period. Still complete the exercises in the 30 seconds that is allotted, but give yourself a little more time during the rest periods. So what about rest? The reason I don't schedule specific days for rest is because those days are going to pop up regardless. You are going to feel some days, hey, maybe I actually need a break. Listen to your body, take a day off. Don't feel bad about that because you're gonna come back the next day. Maybe your training load is very heavy. I don't know what's going on with your team commitments. Maybe you have games, maybe you have fitness sessions. Everyone is a little bit different. So you need to learn to listen to your body. 
And if you really feel that you need a day off, take a day off. Now saying that, there's a big difference between being lazy, being unmotivated, and being tired. Listen to your body. Are you too sore? Are you slowing down? Are you lacking power and energy? Then that might be a good indication to take a day off. Also, perhaps you have a game. You have a big important game. You're playing in a tournament. That might be a good day to take a day off. Listen to your body. Allow yourself time to rest. Don't feel bad about resting because it's going to allow you to rejuvenate and come back the next day. Just remember, wherever you left off, pick up on that day. Start training on that day so you hit every day of the cycle. Complete all the cycles in each phase. So that's how to use the five-star footwork formula. These are short workouts, but when you stack these 15-minute workouts daily, you're going to create massive results over time. Do phase one, three cycles. Move into phase two for three cycles. Phase three for three cycles. Seven different sessions. You're doing them three times each. Use the tracker to keep yourself on track. And every time you do a workout, really ask yourself, am I going fast enough? Am I pushing my intensity? Am I pushing the quality. Yes, you're going to repeat the same workouts, but if you're doing them with the same speed on cycle three that you did on cycle one, then you're not challenging yourself enough. So with these ideas in mind, get started with your training and I'm excited to hear about your results.